Hey guys, what's up? Video Game Viewer here, and today we are checking out Black One Blood Brothers. Um, I've had this game since it released, and uh, have been kind of keeping a close eye on it, but uh, you know what? Um, one of the things that I really love about this game is it comes with a mission editor. Sadly, I don't see many tutorials online, so guys, I'm going to be taking you through how to make one of your very own missions in Black One Blood Brothers, just in case you were curious how. So, first thing we're going to do is you'll notice up top we have an editor here. We're going to go to Maps. Uh, we can pick whichever one we want. I'm going to go with Desert Province because I've already been working on that one. And uh, I do have a test bench set up, but I'm going to uh, start from scratch here. Um, one of the things uh, I've noticed, and I really hope that Deb fixes this, is you're going to want to start over here, guys. Uh, go to um, Spawners and then Insertion. And this is very important. This is the first thing you're going to want to start with is your insertion camera. But if you notice, um, when, I cl when I click on this, it's, it's not going to spawn here in the middle of the screen. It's going to actually spawn up here where this box is where you click on the option. So um, I, don't I wish the, the dev would make it so it spawns in the middle of the screen. Um, so I click on that, and as you can see, it spawned over here where that box was. So just be mindful of that. Uh, it, so like if you're looking here, it's not going to spawn. It's going to spawn somewhere way up here in the mountains or, or under the terrain. And this is so important because if you lose where this is, you basically have to start over. Um, another thing I'd like the dev to do is add like a test function here where we can just kind of drop in in first person view as a soldier and kind of like test out if the AI is spawning in or anything like that. As of right now, that's not really an option. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to get this pretty high up because uh, it gives you a little uh, view there of what this camera can actually see. And I'll just stick it way above the map, like up here. So you, you get a good view of wherever you're going to put your insertion point. You know, you have clearly defined edges. This this sees the whole map, and, and that's kind of what you need. So um, after that, we're good. we can just leave that there. Uh, this is um, all this in here is very important because this is this is essentially how you're going to get your unit onto the map. Um, we can turn up this camera speed here. Now, um, just kind of looking around for like an insertion point. I think up here is like kind of cool. This uh, cliff. So we'll just work with up here. So uh, we're just going to go right down the list. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna. I, plop down an insertion point and again be mindful it's going to be where the box is when you click insertion point all right so this is this is actually where our our like our soldiers are going to be when they're done inserting um and then we're going to plop down um an insertion path but this has to connect to something guys you can't just put this down so uh you can just put that down and then what you're going to want to do is you have to link these two nodes so you're going to click here and go here and guys if i am doing anything wrong in this or just let me know in the comments but um so far this has all been working for me so that's it as far as uh getting your units so so essentially now we can spawn on the map um we can click here we can choose how we want our insertion to be do we want it helicopter on foot underwater doesn't obviously make sense here uh I, do we want like a halo jump um but for right now we're going to just leave it at helicopter and i'm just going to raise this up a little bit because this is actually where the helicopter is is going to be so you can just line these up and there we go all right that makes sense there and uh we can see our camera way up there we're good and then down here, I'm just going to, uh, we can get out of this, and uh, we can kind of start to go have some fun with building. So uh, first, we're going to start with buildings. And again, guys, I'm just making something very simple here. Um, they do have some prefabs, um, but you can actually build your own with, like, walls. You can build your own buildings here, guys. You can get as creative as you want to be. You can put, you know, different things down props uh little pro i mean it's taking a while to load here there's so many of them but you but you get the picture here guys but uh we're just going to put down one of these predefined buildings 
and again it's going to spawn wherever the box is that you're clicking on there it is one thing guys make sure you come down here and um because this will spawn tasks in it so just make sure you lift it up and get it kind of like even with the terrain the way you're going to do that is you're just literally going to click on the building you can drag it up and down you can drag it this way or that way this way or that way and then if you want to rotate it or something you can click here and you can do all this goofy stuff with it down here i wish they would make uh <coughs> i wish i maybe there is i haven't even checked but maybe there's key binds I can switch between these two directly on the keyboard. So anyway, what this does is this has spawned in some tasks. So like, uh, you know, capture or hostages, um, something like that. <coughs> and when it spawns a task in this building, it'll actually spawn in uh, units inside en enemy forces inside that building. But but we're uh, I'm going to show you how to make this a little bit better. We can also put interior stuff guys so I'm gonna put I'm just gonna make a basic exterior here give it a little bit of detail so uh, maybe we put some boxes around uh, maybe like a shipping container all right you get the picture and then uh, let's like put some small Joshua trees just I think these are Joshua trees no they're not maybe they are I don't know. Who cares? Uh, then we can come to interactive actors. These are like uh, things like, uh, do you want security cameras uh, or like, uh, you know, a camera pole? So if you put these in the map, they, they'll help the enemy basically detect you. Uh, you can put lights, uh, spotlights, just regular street lights. These are all detailing, guys. You can get three. You can just go through each of these things. Explosives, doors, windows, environment, water. I haven't tried that yet. And then spawners. So this is very important, guys. So enemy spawners. Uh, you can put down a couple of these just like you put your units down and anything else, really. And uh, what's interesting is when you click on these... You can have these spawn in at the beginning, um, or you, you can make them. You, you can have them kind of wander around, or you can just make them stand still. We'll have that guy stand still. You can change their enemy type. Um, do you want them to spawn indoor or outdoor? In this case, we want these guys all outdoor, obviously. Um, There we go, and I'm going to have them all spawn in priority at the beginning. So there we go. I think they're all... Okay, good. And then um, we can also put tasks down individually. So maybe we don't want this... this ho Or maybe we want more hostages. So let's, uh, let's just say maybe... Maybe we're stopping, I know this is going to be gruesome, but maybe we're stopping like a, uh, 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 some sort of like execution or something where there's, where there's a bunch of hostages here and uh, there's some enemies here. And you can see where these enemies are kind of aiming or facing. So, I mean, we could like aim these guys even at the hostages. I really like this, guys. I, I find this, like, really intuitive. Um, I think this is how this works. I haven't really thoroughly tested it. But I think if you drop down one of these patrol nodes, you can click on here and then go here. And that will uh, make them, them patrol, like, back and forth between there and there. So, anyway, um, we can go ahead now. This is... Uh, pretty basic but I mean you guys can flesh this out as much as you want um, we are going to save it we'll just name this uh, YouTube we'll save that oh and it needs a zone so uh, you also need one of these guys I thought I put one down but uh, I forgot I started fresh so we'll just put this down here um, we can come back in and uh, save it.
no errors detected come back out here are you sure yes and then to test this mission guys you're gonna come over here to play go to missions click on maps editor find your save in this case YouTube click on begin mission we can skip this and if everything has gone according to plan we should see our insertion we do it's right down here in the bottom uh, click on all because obviously we uh, want them all it's a valid insertion and then click on our instruction. Operation Resurrection Location YouTube. Obviously, you guys can name it whatever you want. Helicopters dropping us off right where we decided he should. We can skip that. They just fast rope down. And here we are, guys, and we're in our mission. And uh, as you can see down there are our hostages that we have to go rescue. And we're just going to run down here. It doesn't really matter if I get killed. We're just doing test purposes. So you guys can see how this all works. And you guys can start making maybe your own missions. So I'm already, John is reporting contacts 300 meters in front. So... Let's just get up here. Maybe we can spot these guys with the binos. I'm not playing tactically at all. All right. And we can. And there are our, uh, our enemy units that we put down. Obviously, you can turn them and change them in any direction you want. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you make missions, guys. Uh, you can assign tasks. Uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. Um, I I have not gotten into... Uh, I, I do plan on it, but I want to make a tutorial on how to order these guys around very effectively. As you can see, we only have this one guy with us, so I'm not even sure where the rest of our team is. Uh, the game is a little buggy. The, a Ooh. the AI can get like kind of hung up on terrain. Um, oh, there they are. Yeah, see, they got kind of hung up down on this bottom cliff. But let's go down here and smoke these bad guys real quick and uh, just see if we can't complete this quick. I have my health on uh, pretty pretty low. All right, let's start popping people. Now there, uh, you can add like, okay, he's he was T-posing there. Again, guys, buggy, but. Um, there are some people out there that are making some really, really good missions on on uh, on Steam. So let's test this. Can this guy hear us? Is he dumb as rocks? You can turn up the AI and stuff. I don't. Are you gonna react to us, buddy? We're right here. Okay, he did kind of react at the last minute. Anyway, guys, you can see the point of this. Um, this game has so much potential uh, for just how you can, dude. You can you could play you could play GI Joe Barbie all day with these guys and dress them up head to toe. The gunsmithing in this is awesome. Um, I am not paid or or uh, sponsored by this dev at all. Um, I'm not saying this game is there. I'm not saying like rush out and go buy this, but. But if you are the type of person that like likes to mission build and, and just craft stories that you can upload and, and stuff, this game is so for you. I love building. I love spending hours getting down in. You can plop bushes down, guys. Everything. Foliage. Uh, just There's tons of props. So uh, just this mission editor alone is, is worth, um, I think, buying it. And I think it just has to iron out some basic bugs and and this is going to be like a grand slam of of a game guys anyway guys thank you so much for watching this little tutorial i hope you hit that subscribe button i hope i earned your subscription by the end of this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace